What is going on guys? It is your boy Dismo here and as always, I hope you guys are having yourselves a great day. So in today's gameplay, you guys are going to be watching an insanely awesome gameplay. I got a nuke, the de-atomizer strike with the NV4 fallout. Now this was just insane, incredible. It was a little bit tactical as it is my very first like de-atomizer strike and so it wasn't really that all fast paced uh, I got another one that I'm gonna bring to you guys here in a couple days I was just so pumped to finally get this and it even gave me the nuclear medal I think I only went on like a 32 gun streak I ended up uh, seeing the unstoppable medals after I called in the de-atomizer strike that you'll see towards the end and I'm just so pumped for this this was like I believe my if you want to say like chokes and then like going for the nuclears this was like my eighth attempt of getting close to a nuclear and then either choking or actually getting it and i finally got it i've choked like three times on a 24 one time it was because or no, two times it was because i went to a one bar as soon as i hit level or as soon as i hit 24 kills and then i get killed and one of them was solo now if i would have gotten my first one solo that would have been insane but uh, i'm in a three part three man party playing with carnage big bro and one of his friends and so it was pretty fun and i'm personally in love with infinite warfare like i don't i see everyone hating on it because uh you die too quickly the guns don't work for some reason some guns are way too overpowered like the e-rad that gun is incredibly overpowered or the rpr and uh, personally it, it's a beta to me like personally i understand everything that is wrong with this game right now the you the kill time you die way too quickly in this game it's it's incredible how fast you die it's like ghost but it's a beta in my opinion they're going to tweak things obviously when the game comes out and that's what i'm looking forward to the most is when the game actually comes out the full game i'm ready to see other maps i'm ready to see other game modes i'm ready to see an advanced uav because i really want that scavenger reactive armor like there's just so many cool things about this game that i like and the only thing i kind of dislike but it kind of brings a unique like aspect to the game is the variance for nukes like it kind of bums me out that you can only get them by getting the supply drop variant or by getting the salvage and that kind of sucks but the thing is you can work towards it all so i'm not entirely sure what they're going to do with uh, as because it kind of sucks there's only for certain weapons like that's why that's the only thing i don't like about it honestly is the fact that it's only for certain weapons so what i really think is going to happen is it's going to be a whole thing with supply drops and opening supply drops to get the right variants that you want i believe that every single gun in the full game will have a nuke variant you will just have to get it through supply drops there's probably going to be one variant for each gun like category like assault rifle submachine gun that you can unlock through the game or just via playing the game game like through salvage or just anything like that so i really think that's how it's going to be is that there's going to be one for each class of guns and then the rest is all going to be supply drops which kind of sucks but you got to look at it from activision and infinity wars point of view i probably could say like i'm like 80 percent positive that infinity ward if they could they would not have the nuke variant in like supply drops if it is like this is all hypothetical right now like we we don't know if this is going to happen but if this happens just like Treyarch did, they didn't want weapons and stuff in supply drops. Activision kind of forced them to do that. And that's what I'm kind of thinking Activision may do with this game. They're going to probably put it in supply drops because Activision is a business and they want to make money and we're dumb enough to continue buying supply drops. We bitch about it all the time, but we still buy it. So uh, it it's just it's a love hate type of deal like i love supply drops in my opinion i just hate how hard it is to get certain things in it i think working towards something then like unlocking it with like keys that you've been earning for like an hour or two and then try to get a new weapon or something like that i really like that aspect of the game i personally love supply drops and it it kind of gives me the feeling like csgo with cases but there is the nuke it just went off i got the quad feed it is insane and yeah i hope you guys did enjoy today's uh, video uh if you guys did please drop a like on it let's shoot for 100 likes for my first de-atomizer strike gameplay if you have any questions comment in the com comment in the comment section below and if you are new to the channel please subscribe i'll be bringing you a lot more infinite warfare content as the week progresses until the initial release of the game which i am so pumped for but that's about all we'll see you in the next video peace